see how we're going in, coming into game one. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, Smashville F, uh, or FD in town, you take away flat stages for Pichu, so he doesn't get to, so there's more way to mix up your movement. Uh, so you end up going to stadium. I like this pick from Noku, and I like the opening combo. You're trying to play this short game, which Squirtle can play against short characters extremely well, thanks to said grounded uh, area, grounded attacks being so good, things like forward tilt. Oh, Ooh, wow. That's a shame. Yeah, unfortunately, Ca Castorman usually hits those uh, like really difficult quick attack angles. So hoping to not see Castorman too shaken in this uh, game one, but already getting back to that same percent that he died in in stock one and climbing. This Squirtle is doing all the work right now. I think he expected to have to tech the waterfall right there, and I think that was a zero yeah. to death. Yeah, uh, Noku's on 17, okay, 26. Wow, Pichu Thunderjolts do like 10, That's or do yeah. 9, that's crazy. <laughs> They do like four to himself, so you know. Yeah, it's I was fine. gonna say, you know, for self damage, you get what you pay for. That's true. That's what true. What a jump call out from Noku. All right, and finally getting the T Jolt grab. Get a little bit started here. The ni a very nice frame trap and the edge guard to go with it. Not gonna close up the stock quite yet, but it's there in the Same end of the really So good. So well played. Those yep. are the types of plays you really need in order to make a comeback from Pichu because you kind of don't have the cock, both literally and figuratively, is never on your side. Yeah, and you can see Noku just going right back to Squirtle, which has just been doing so much in this matchup thus far. You know, being that small bottle body, it's going to be a lot harder for Castorman to get those long rat combos that we typically see. This is truly a match in the sandbox. <laughs> yeah, a couple, just a couple babies over here. Yeah. <laughs> like Children th fighting. Yeah, thrown around these small, small Pokemon swinging their way through. But the up smash, I'm actually not 100% certain on the Charizard pick here. I mean, you're just trying to close out the stock. But I feel like you can play just this super strong neutral with Squirtle. And Castorman wasn't showing the best, uh, the best at hitting techs in spot scenarios off of things like forward tilt. I, I literally cannot understate how good of a move Squirtle forward tilt is. <laughs> but still, this Charizard out. This Charizard is out here, and that's scary enough in itself. These nair, they're throwing out nares to cover space, back airs, forward tilts, up smashes. Any wrong move could mean a stock, and we're getting it well past up throw kill percent. Or back oh, oh, you're gone. Jab lock, but <laughs> Noku caught Castor Man getting a little bit too greedy for that jab lock and just exploded Pichu. Good awareness on the part of Noku, and just such easy, and, and such applicable, I won't say easy, but applicable counterplay, because that kind of, you have to account for reaction time, but getting hit by a, exactly that Nair, and looking for the tech chase, but just, sometimes tech rolling out of the corner can get you hard punished, but in the position that you're in and that you're out, like Pichu, yeah. taking the tech roll in and just understanding, hey, I'm a big body, I can take what you give me. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I can take the hit here. As long as I'm not being put off stage, that's how I lose the game. Yeah, and I mean, that's you know, matchup familiarity, too. It's very that, true. Um, very true. You know, T Jolt into Jab Lock scenario is just such a classic for Pichu and Pikachu players that that's just something you you know to look out for. Oh, I wanted the downer there. I really did. <laughs> <laughs> But Noku decided not to go for it. Instead, buffering the tech roll away, instantly mixing up uh, what Casterman was looking for, and that kind of idea, you uh, that kind of set play, you really need to see early because Pichu can set for a lot of tech chases in their offensive pressure. Oh, oh no! Knife the Vine Whip and getting the down air. That was so well placed from Casterman, just putting it at that nice 45 degree angle. And once they saw it connect, that was free down air time. And now we get to see Casterman play a completely different game from the from before, which is Pichu with a lead. You know, it's something at least. Yeah. <laughs> All right, using the T Jolt to fight his way out of the corner and getting a nice little bit of a combo. Not able to connect the thunder though, but just keep swinging from the uh, the ledge. And there we go. There's there are those like tough quick attack angles that I wanted to see from Castar Man. 
They are all uh, extremely viable and extremely flexible. Going for another down air, forcing the switch, forcing the double switch. Can you even make this back? No. no. Just, wow, Pichu down air, such a strong move. And on Squirtle, who can't take that kind of punishment, sent way too far, even with the double switch. Forcing a uh, forcing Noku to just put a lot into this Squirtle. A couple two frames and beyond are pretty good, though. Yep, all right, Noku trying to mix up the timing, but Castor Man able to make it through, using the double jump to get back into center stage. Castor Man now trying to find his way into the the house of Noku with the, uh, the Smashville platform. Smashville platform just so good for letting, or letting characters take control of the center stage. Yeah, it, he is understanding and dominating that space. A little bit late on the roll there, though. Still... Oh, that grab. He stuck his tail into it, I suppose. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Either that or Pichu's got secretly long arms. And, you know, don't sleep on him. Sometimes <laughs> people, be, people be stretchy in this game. Oh, we went for that Ooh. kind of read. Which is a little reading the air dodge, but not reading the switch, which turned into an edge guard for Noku. Able to stuff that out with Ivy's massive down air. Let's see what you got going on here, though, Noku. You can't punish that forward smash. It's similar to Pikachu's. 117, I feel like the Ivysaur needs to go sooner rather than later. Yeah, especially here in this uh, center stage where Castor Man is really showing up. Still kept one of the jumps. Great patience from Noku. And what a tech, too, on the down smash. This is Skull! Oh, my no! God! Oh, no! 37! Oh. <laughs> I don't know if y'all... At, in, in the audience, it, uh, heard <laughs> Mr. 3000 with uh, <laughs> the cry, the outcry of torment, right well before then. It was like, right, yeah, so we're, we're seeing this, he gets back to stage, and right here, everybody <laughs> in the venue hears, oh, oh god, god, it's, it's even! even. <laughs> and you can, you can see the rest. <laughs> 37%, one jump read. Pour, pouring out for Caster, man. He, he, played that, he played that game extremely well. He played that game how you should have, like efficient offstage pressure. Most of the time with things like Drop Zone Dare and Thunder Jolts, but sometimes that's enough, especially given the amount of base knockback that Pichu has at their disposal. <laughs> oh, this is gross. But... In the same way that Noku kind of understand it in game one, hey, this is my lose condition if I go off stage. In game three, or game two rather, it's like, this is my win condition. Charizard back air. <laughs> and and oh boy, do it be hit. It, it do be winning. <laughs> so pretty good move, pretty good move out of 10. <laughs> uh, but that'll put Noku into uh, top 24, winner side, woo. Uh, very well played from both sides. I uh, really enjoyed seeing Casterman after a really rough start, like kind of recollect himself. Mm -hmm. And that's always what you want to oh, see. Absolutely. In players, right? Like that, men that mentality assurance, even if the loss comes, even if you still hold the L, like it's fine because Tri State's an incredibly tough region. So you just have to make sure that it's like, okay, like the practice is still there, the refinement mm -hmm. is still there. It's just a matter of practicing, grinding, like learning and learning to shore up your own weaknesses. And you can do that even better with a good mentality. Yeah, and I think we've seen that come out from Castor Man before. We've seen like a lot of patience coming out, and that is yeah, that where like the the adaptation starts coming from. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah, just self assurance in the character and belief in your characters, belief in yourself, and believe in the me that believes in you.